Hey everyone, it's Sangod, aka Zero. I did say I was going to do a special video on uh, today. I... I'll take a look and see what you think. So the game I'm playing is Code Vein. I'm going to be playing it on the offline mode. With it being extremely loud. <laughs> um, but I played the demo of this the other day and I fell in love with the game. I just wanted to try the demo to see what I would think of it. And that's what we'll be jumping into is Code Vein. I hope you guys enjoy. Hey, hey. can you hear me? Think back. Search your memory for an image of yourself. So I am playing the male character, um, and I do love the fact that you get to actually design your character yourself. I kind of wish I would have actually saved my character from when I played this, because I actually had a really cool looking character. I just gotta try to remember his hairstyle I had. I think I did that one. Yeah, I did. Um... And they have a ton of, like, color options. So, I mean, just like picking a color is about a thousand different shades to pick from. Uh, let's go about that. Uh, generic. I love this eye. I don't know why. Huh, that was actually not in the demo. Um, I kind of want to go with about that, and I kind of want to throw in a little bit of blue. And then this one will do, yeah, actually I kind of like that color set. Um, yeah, I don't really... Okay, for a scar, I kind of want to do something. If I can find a scar... Yeah, I guess I... Yeah, I don't want to. I do like that there's actually a lot more, uh... Than there was actually in the, uh... When I did this the first time around. Let's go with I'll go back to that after I pick my outfit. Huh, that's actually a different outfit than they had. I... And I don't... I don't hate that, I actually like it. I 
I don't hate it. I actually like this one or... I'm gonna go with this one. I'm gonna change the colors though. I don't like the... I'm gonna try to find that green, because I actually, there's a green that I think would be okay with it. Yeah, sorry, the like way that they have it set up is kind of weird. It's like having to do the opposite of what you're actually trying to do. I'm not sure I'd buy that. Yeah! Damn! Well, well. I'll take point. Can I finish this now? Hmm. I'll pray you stay safe. I pray for your success. Excellent. You've got more in you. Ah! Works for me. I pray. Lend me thine aid. You're an inspiration. Let's rest a bit. Think again. Whoa! My answer is no. Not too shabby. I'm sorry. Victory. Yeah, I like that one. Okay. So, I am going to give him some little things, like... I like the collar, and I saw when I was playing it. So you get to pick a name, and I already have a name that, and then you get your code name. And I honestly, I tried figuring out a code name, and I could not figure out a code name. So I'm just gonna go with uh, what all my friends call me is just, just yeah, Wolf. That's what you look like. Now, now we can finally meet. By the way, if you don't know what Code Vein is, um, Code Vein is a cross of it's a cross of Dark Souls meets anime. We finally meet. Are you clear-headed? You will now be reborn as an immortal creature, a revenant. There are things you will need to know in your new life, so listen well. Each Revenant has a different power coursing through their veins, called a blood code. The best way to learn about it is to try it for yourself. That is a fighter blood code, which is excellent in combat. Each talent that a blood code bestows is known as a gift. 
The fighter blood code grants ever increasing endurance. It seems you also have a gift that temporarily enhances your attack power. Try it out. Very well. Give it a try. So I already uh, went through this, so I'm just kind of yes, that will do. going through it as fast as I can. The effects of the gift will not work unless it is prepared in advance. I forgot something important. You will need special blood to activate gifts. This blood comes from revenants who have forgotten themselves and turned into monsters. The Lost. You can drain Icor from the Lost by striking them with your weapon. Remember that. Those are the basics of a fighter's gifts. Use and learn each of them well. So this is actually the blood code that I like myself. That blood code is known as Ranger. Oh dear. That weapon seems to be too heavy for you. Rangers are nimble and best at fighting with light weaponry. Try switching to a bayonet. She says that yet yeah, I was carrying around a giant uh great sword. Yes, that's much better, isn't it? Oh, firing your bayonet requires Icor as well. That and gifts means Icor always seems scant. That is where the blood veil you have equipped comes in. Using your blood veil will let you quickly drain Icor from the lost. In addition, this can increase the amount of Icor you can hold. If you have a chance to drain Icor from a foe, use it. Sums up the Ranger blood code and draining. Let us try one more blood code. Ah, uh, the casters. That is what is called the caster blood code. Casters possess powers like magic from a fairy tale. With it, you can use gifts to fire projectiles of blood. Shot favors range over power. Let's see. Try learning another gift. You can learn gifts by touching missiles. Try it yourself. I mean, the game gives you a really good, like, rundown of how to do stuff. It can be complicated, but keep it in mind. 
So, what I was saying, the game is a Dark Souls meets anime crossover, but it is done amazingly well. Welcome back. Hello, random person. Hello. How are you feeling? It's dry, isn't it? Just like I'm literally pushing as hard, like all the way, so I'm hoping. So it's. I think my guy's gonna go slowly, no matter what. So, it is you. I just bite her arm off.
Yeah, at least I fixed the physics with their outfit. A new spring and a fresh source of labor. <laughs> we really hit the jackpot. Get up. It's time for a bit of fun. And they're both ranger class. I never really like looked into this area, so it's kind of interesting to see what it entails. So, what happened to your masks? Forgotten about those too, have you? I have amnesia. Are you going to kill me too? Anything for a kick, right? Just don't crush my heart. Stop already. My body may still be alive, but my soul died long ago. No one could stay sane after dying again and again and again and again. Don't take my memories, my family. I have nothing left. So I'm guessing like we can die about a thousand times, but as long as the heart isn't crushed, There's I guess no we're way okay. We're gonna find blood beads. The missiles all dried up, and the miasma keeps getting thicker. Telling us to look for blood beads here is just crazy. The view never improves, does it? He came back home after the war against the Queen and found this mist. Getting close to it causes enough pain to drive you mad, so no one has ever crossed it. There's nowhere to go home to, even outside of this prison. So, technically, the only backstory I actually understand of the game is uh, they killed something or someone that was the queen, and when she died, the miasma, like, surrounded the area, and if you go too far into it or the or you breathe in the miasma, it makes you go become Long a lost. They say, the folks up there, they might live in safety. But because of their levy, we have to risk our necks to collect blood beads. Just you wait. One day, I'm gonna make thralls out of a whole lot. Well, okay. I think he's drinking his own blood. Okay. So if you get a parasite, you lose memory, but you don't really know if you're losing memories. This one's dry. The miasma's pretty thick. Damn it! We're running out of time before the next collection. Everything's ready. Right. I'm on my way. <laughs> All dried up, just like the others. I yeah. All dried up, so there's no sense in searching with the miasma like this. Let's... You know what these are, right? Blood beads, right? Yes, very good. Now I want you to search for blood beads in the tunnels ahead of here. 
You see, it's only a short time before the Collectors come to take our levy. But once they do, I'm afraid we won't have any blood beads to give them. If we don't find some, Silva's hounds will strip the shirts right off our backs. Her arm well, is glitching through her outfit. That's the long and short of it. Why does it have to be us? And through his leg. me. The stupid levy system was Silva's idea. If you have a complaint, I suggest you take it up with him. You lot go first. Get to work. Don't. There's a better time and place. For now, we just have to obey. Next! Whoa there. You wait here with us. You can have this one back when you return. In exchange for any blood beads you find, of course. Oh, and I hear the hunter has been showing up around here lately. So make sure you don't all get killed. You heard him. Move it! Ouch. Hey, you okay? It looks like we can't get back up from here. We'll have to look for another way back. Oh, I'm Oliver Collins, by the way. Nice to meet you. I love that they let you pick a voice, but your character never says a word. I have a pipe. So I'm switching to the uh, to the ranger class because that's the one that I actually. Oh yeah, I forgot. I fine. I'll do this one. I'm gonna do this until I get a rifle or something. So if you play Dark Souls, this is technically your campfire in a sense. A dead lost. I've never seen one before. I say dead, but they're not really dead. It's just a dormant state before they turn into real monsters. Or so I've heard. Sometimes it takes years for the transformation to start. So we can just leave them. The enemy? Took him a bit to actually, you know, decide to actually do something. You have to use whatever you can to survive. Please don't fall. He makes it look so easy by just like hitting him with like that. Well, I got one too. So the thing in the left bottom corner that says like three, it's technically like the uh, flask from Dark Souls as well. Where it just like helps you recover your health. That was fun. <laughs> Didn't survive very long though. Is there something good in there? <sighs> An axe. There. Yeah, I know. Right now I Which way do you think is better? I'm gonna go both ways, so doesn't really matter. They're all empty.
Queen iron. Yeah, come on. I, I feel dizzy. I'm blown away. What's that doing there? Yes. So I have, I'm using that right now to heal. I got my bayonet and I got me a broadsword. I don't think we've been through here. We should find some blood beads and go back for her quick. That's the reason why I like uh, the Ranger class. The bayonet is actually kind of OP a little bit. And I need to do a quick little recap because it's one thing that I for I keep forgetting is how to do the uh Okay, there we go. That's the drain. So you saw that I had a claws at first. Now I have my two hounds. So finding different ones um, changes your draining ability. Personally, I found uh, if I can, if it's still in this game, like the way where it's laid out so far, um, I'll actually find it in not too long. And it's actually one of my favorite ones to actually acquire. Dang. If that ladder was down, we could get up. There we go. Now I have poison I can or poison my weapons at least. We 
We're at a disadvantage here. Come in handy. I think you could probably fall down here and attack him from behind. But I don't really know if that's an actual possibility. Oh, didn't they pass us earlier? Are you okay? Did you get hurt? Could have gone better. I'll catch up with you in a bit. <laughs> Don't worry about me. I'll be all right. Go on. You just focus on finding some blood beads, all right? That girl is waiting for you. I had the same glitch earlier, or er, last night, with the weird cape just flopping around randomly. So, L2. I don't know if you can actually kill this thing with one hit, but I'm going to attempt. Oh, that actually went a lot smoother than when I did it. Yeah, I know, I see you. Come on. I am going to try to sit there and sneak attack this one. Oh, that's... That is not good. <laughs> So that I actually need to put into my items. I forgot about them.
Yeah, I forgot about rule, like one of the rules. Uh, in anywhere, uh, make sure you're looking up. Okay, that hurt. I did not realize I had done that much damage. And now I get to run all the way back. So the reason I actually did that is, like in Dark Souls, the more times, you, the more things you kill, the more souls you collect. And this one, you collect—I don't even know what they what they're calling it—but you collect those. Some controls are still kind of buggy. Oh, goody, it's him again. Let's see if I can kind of get it to turn around. No, we're not playing this game. Come on. That's a. Some fights are a little bit easier to figure out. That one's a, kind of a pain. I, I hate that thing down there. It's one of those optional hidden kind of bosses, or just like you know a bigger enemy. Yep, another one dead. I kind of like actually having a companion around because 
I'm not having to sit there and like try to fight everything by myself. Yeah, I hear you banging around, you weirdo. The hounds are one of my favorite ones I do. I have to admit, I like uh, being able to do the hounds for it. Just because of the fact that you can kind of hit them twice, and it does a lot of extra damage. Ooh, I almost ran off the side by accident. I'm making sure he can't doesn't decide to start running towards me, and I can kind of run to him a little bit. Thing is, what he has down there is actually a really good item to get. But I'm not stupid enough to try to get it right now. Or at least not until after I've done this. Which, like, writing, like now replenish all my items. And like the bomb fires, when you rest at something, they all come back. So I can kind of go back and take them all out again. But I want to go over here and meet him. Are you a fellow explorer? It appears you're alone. I'm on my own at the moment too. And I was hoping for a partner for the path ahead. What do you say? Would you mind working together? At least until we're through here? Don't worry, I'm not gonna stab you in the back. My asthma and the lost here are enough trouble as it is. Thanks a lot. I'm glad to work with you. I'm not stupid, I'd rather actually have an ally with me. Because I hate some of the fights up ahead, and I'd rather have him with me. And I'm going to attempt to do something, and if it works, Shall awesome. We? That'll be quite you. <laughs> Uh, first I need to take out... Oh, huh, I tried to do that, yes, and when I did the first time it did not work very well. And you'll understand why I'm taking these guys out. So what you saw me just do uh, to the one guy with when I pulled my wolves out, that was the... Uh, that's like the big assassination. The enemy on the other side looks tough. That's kind of like the a big assassination kind of targets. You can do that to them. When they're not paying attention, you can just attack. You use your ability and move them apart. He's going to be a fun... He's the fun one. Enemy up ahead. Stay sharp. Yeah, I know. I'm trying to get you to go do your thing, you know? This your... terrain doesn't favor us. No, that's why I'm...
The thing is, though, when I was uh, when I did the demo, I actually hit him a little bit, and he just like fell off the edge. What do we have here? Yes, this is my favorite one to get. And I will show you why when I'm not like in an area where I can like literally just fall and kill myself. <laughs> so this one is called is the thorn. You get a giant scorpion tail. You get increased range and you can pretty much like do some heavy damage. In my opinion, it's one of the best ones to find, or at least get early on. Why am I hearing slimes? Like, I'm hearing the jelly things and... Oh, I hear crazy things. So I'm going to try to do the Queen's one. Because in my opinion, it's actually the coolest uh, execution ability. Where did he come from? I did not see where he came from. So, sorry if I got like really loud there. I was like, I was trying to figure out what the heck. Come on. That's why I like the uh, tail. It's able to hit him harder. And you can actually get you get a little bit more range with it. Wanna head up? Making sure I didn't miss anything, because you never know. I need to get more Icor. I am running low. Switch to my sword. So this is the blood bead. Uh, so blood springs, your blood has special properties that can activate dried up blood springs. Once revived, the blood spring will produce, start producing blood beads again. Uh, these blood beads have the same composition as human blood. Revenants have been using them to quench their bloodthirst. Could that really be? 